Hey fellow zombie hunters, Jaxel here. Um, I am, I've burned through uh, quite a bit of the night here. It, the nights are long, seeing so it is a longer day. Um, and what I've done is I've gone through the house with the wrench and my axe and I've peeled everything that was worth anything out of the house. So if we go downstairs, I'll just give you, seeing how the, the days are so long, I can kind of give you a little update of what I've kind of done. I removed all the couches. I removed every toilet with the wrench. For those of you who are new to the game and don't know that, the wrench, you use the wrench and you can peel apart anything. Uh, I stove, um, sinks, even these, um, if I use the axe it'll be better. Um, you can take this apart and get brass. I'm going to do it anyway just because I'm peeling everything out of the house. Um, I've taken down all the curtains and uh, I turned all of my aloe vera plants <coughs> into, aloe, into aloe. Actually, what's the wrench quicker? Yeah, it's a little bit quicker. So even though it's wasting the wrench, uh, I'm going to do it. Even though I probably shouldn't. But with the days being longer and me being able to scavenge longer, uh, I'm not too worried. Um, that did just give me a faucet. But if I scrap it, it gets me one piece of brass. It's a lot of work for one piece of brass. But as everybody knows in the game, brass is not something uh, that you can actually mine. You have to find it. You can find it many ways, taking light fixtures, certain light fixtures, and uh, uh, faucets, uh, doorknobs that you find. Um, that sort of stuff will actually give you the brass that you need. Um, you get uh, pipes from taking apart toilets, uh, these short iron pipes here. Uh, you get the to uh, and when you do take apart enough toilets and sinks and stoves, um, you get a bit of scrap, but you also get these pipes, and these pipes are what you use to make a grill. And now I have a grill in my cooking fire, and I've collected tons of eggs, and, and I got those, uh, those two chicken, and, uh, the two chicken that I found that I didn't have to kill, um, allowed me to get enough to make two bacon and egg. And bacon and egg are awesome. They, um, oh, I'm going to need just a little bit more wood on the fire here. Uh, that should be enough. Uh, the cooking times don't quite work. I'll warn, warn you guys of that right now. Sometimes the cooking times, you think you have enough time on the fire. And same with the forge, you don't quite have enough. Sometimes you'll exit out of this menu here and it won't have all cooked. Uh, so this is almost borderline where it's looking like it, it may not cook all the way. Um, let's just see. Okay, well it did. Okay. And, <coughs> bacon and eggs and blueberry pie do not smell. But if you cook, um, no, I don't have any more meat. Uh, but if you cook up just straight meat, uh, it will have an odor in your bag. And, uh, well, you don't really want the odor in your bag, because it's not very helpful. Uh, it will definitely attract more zombies. Yeah, anyhow, um, I'm, I'm going to craft, because I'm, I'm, I'm really, really, um, trying to get my weapon skill up. I don't like having a weapon that is of that, um, that skill level. I'd like it to be a lot higher. So I'm and I and I'm gonna burn through tons of arrows. Uh, that's just inevitable. Um, so yeah, everything that was worth anything is stripped from this house, uh, and I've chucked it. Oh, actually, I didn't take everything. Uh, I guess I, I, I. Oh, that's right. These. I think the pillows. The bed. I, I can't remember what the bed gives me. Um, a little bit of scrap. Um, that's it. So, now you guys know, the beds give you some scrap. I'm going to take them out anyway. Uh, may as well. 
I don't need them. I did make a sleeping bag as well. Um, and I, with, with the amount of aloe vera that I picked and um, <clears throat> cloth that I had, I was able to make myself uh, 15 bandages. So I've stored the last two here. Um, I've got enough yucca fruit to, to keep me going for quite a while. Uh, or yucca, yucca juice, I should say. Call it, keep calling it fruit. Um, I'm probably going to have to drink two more before I head out. So I'm going to replace those right away. Um, I'm not going to carry a lot with me on my, on my journey out here. Um, I'm not going to need it. So basically everything that is in, these, uh, in this chest here, I'm going to leave here. Um, and the morning is almost here, so, uh, with the morning being almost here, it will be time for me to, to get ready to start venturing out again here pretty quick. So, uh, I am just quickly setting my timer for 20 minutes here. Um, I may as well. There we go. I don't really want to go over too much time here because the time does uh, the time of the videos is is getting a bit long on my other videos. So I'm trying to make a, a concerted effort to make my videos under 30 minutes uh, just to save you guys, especially with longer days. And I am not going to film everything. I do not see the point. Um, filming everything is 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 a bit redonkulous. <laughs> Uh, I probably am uh, going to leave my torch here. Um, I'm hoping to find some coal. What I'm going to do here, I've marked my map uh, for a safe house. I know that this is a house that's, it's, if I'm making my way to the hub city, I know I can stop here and drop stuff off. And what I'm thinking of doing is I'm trying to find a different biome than what I'm in. So I think I'm going to head that way. I don't want to head towards the uh, the burn zone. It's not looking like uh, that's where I want to be heading, so I'm not going to head that way. Um, I'm going to keep my ranch on me f for uh, for future uh, picking. I'm going to keep my bone shiv on my bar because I'm thinking the bone shiv uh, may come in handy. If I find another animal, bone shiv works way, uh, way better uh, for skinning animals. And for those of you who are new, the bone shiv is created from the large bones that you find. You just uh, type, we'll just type it up here just so you can see. It takes one bone. Um, oh, I'm in the wrong menu. Whoops, sorry guys. Um, so if I just type in the word shiv, there's bone shiv there. And it's one large bone, and you're good to go. Uh, you'll, as soon as you get a hunting knife, you'll want to switch it out. It just makes more sense. Um, so, yeah, let's check on our stats here. I am uh, food and water. I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm going to eat a bunch of these uh, the yucca fruits. And maybe I'll be able to clear out my bar now. It uh, it looks like it. It's going to be pretty close. I want to be nice and full when I leave here. Um, I don't see any point in uh, in packing any of it. I'm going to eat right to 100%. And then, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to drink. And that gets me to 100. And I'm going to, to make one yucca juice to replace the one that I just drank and put the rest back and that way when I if I if I happen to be stranded or whatever I can come back here and if I got a couple jars I can make something to drink if I'm hurting and uh, you know what I'm even gonna leave the other two yucca fruit just in case I'm starving to death even though it's actually no forget it I'll bring them with I've got bacon and eggs and yucca fruit so um, we're ready to rock. Uh, other than I am going to leave this stone axe in the fire pit and burn it. And I will get one more stone axe crafting right away. 
and I've only got uh, I got 70 more arrows it's going to make and so I'm going to have plenty of arrows uh, and as soon as that's finished I'm going to queue up a, a another bow here and I should have plenty of everything yep the only thing I'm running lean on now is stone, and that's because of the amount of arrows that I made. Uh, I'm going to close everything up on my way out. And let's uh, open this door. All right. Okay, so we are going to head in uh, in the direction, in this direction. Oh, I also did... Uh, Make myself a cowboy hat to go with my bandana and some boots. I figure at least I gotta have that. And being in the desert, I can't really wear anything more. Sorry, my daughter's playing in the background there. If you can probably hear the noises, she's uh, she's a cutie. I got twin girls that are the love of my life, and a three-year-old who I love her, but wow, she can be a little bit of a turd sometimes. So, but we love her. So. That's what matters. I got a house full of love. And uh, anyhow, um, I just, I knew there was a couple, uh, I could see them. Oh, I got a pistol. Um, because I have that pistol now, I'm actually, am going to run back. It's not a very, it's not a very good pistol. It's a, it's less. I am going to run back into the house here really quick. And, uh. Oh, that's an interesting... Oh, that's probably that rabbit I heard. Uh, is that... I didn't... I can't believe I missed that. I did clear out most of the trees from this property when I was here overnight. So let's uh, quickly go up here and... Wow, she's really excited today. Okay. Um, let's drop this stuff off. I'm not going to need it. Uh, the bottled water I'm going to take... The 9mm rounds I'm going to take. Oh, I scored a hunting rifle in that. Oh, that is just beautiful. Shh, I'm talking right now, darling. I love you, but Daddy needs to play right now. Thank you. Quick quick hugs. i got to give quick hugs to my daughter. Okay. I love you. Now go play, please. That's going to happen occasionally. Uh, you know, that's what it is being a parent. So... I'm going to, uh, uh, so now that I have a hunting rifle, that is going to make taking game down so much easier. I'm not going to waste it on, um, on the, uh, uh, the animals of the game. Uh, I only have six rounds. Oh no, 24. Okay, let's get that, let's see what that, yeah, the pistol already had 15 rounds in it as well. I know I scrapped one before and I probably should have unloaded the clip. But uh, I wasn't thinking. Uh, you can unload it by... Oh, I might not have been able to. Uh, it comes down to being able to assemble it. And I don't think I could. So, alright. <clears throat> we haven't wasted much of the morning. Because of the long days, I have a lot of time here. So, I am... Uh, I'm not going to be picking up a lot of this stuff along the way. I, Unless it's clumped like this. Like, there's, there's quite a bit of it here. So... And I, and I don't know if I'm going to be finding uh, a cooking pot anytime soon. So, uh, finding... Oh, I do want to take her out. The nurse, that, the nurse zombie, uh, for new players, if you don't know, the nurse will drop, occasionally will drop... Um, oh, that went right past her head, are you kidding me? Uh, the nurse zombies occasionally drop good first aid kits, and they also drop a beaker, which you need for um, uh, for making antibiotics and for making a few other other items that are in the game. Uh, I, I, I'm trying to remember exactly off the top of my head, but I'm, I can't really think right now because I got. This is the most popular I've been with the ladies in a long time. Is she still alive? No. Okay. There we go. She had a jar. Not really that popular. Oh. Okay. 
I'm not really that good. I don't really need a jar, but whatever. Okay, so we are. I'm, I'm trying to find, like I said, I'm going to try and find a more habitable zone here. Um, whether or not I do or not, that's going to be. Uh, that's a quite. That's a good question. So. Um. I've got a zombie friend coming along here, and I don't. I don't really care. I don't really feel like uh, wasting a lot of time on it. Uh, how many? Okay. Did I make a new bow? Yeah, we're up to 69 on the bow, so we'll get rid of that one. We don't need it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep motoring along here. So, and as you can see now, um, because of the length of day, uh, I'm, my my weapon skill's gone up quite a bit for for a day two. Um, I am I am set a lot better with um, with gears and gear and supplies. Uh, I've got lots of water. I've got my first aid. Um, and now I can bypass a lot of this uh, this other stuff that's that's kicking on the ground. Having 250 plus arrows, like what am I at? 200. Yeah, I've almost got. I've got 300 and some odd arrows here. Uh, oh, that's a nice receiver. I didn't see that. That's a good find. Oh, and a barbed club. Oh, those are those are nice. But uh, I like the reinforced one. It's a little bit. It's a better quality. So I'm going to keep that until it burns out. And then uh, at the end, I will scrap it. And uh, for new players, scrapping your weapons uh, gets you a little bit of scrap. Uh, a lot of them you can put in the forge get back your scrap as well I think you get a little bit more for your a um, little bit more iron for your for your buck if you if you put it in the put it through the forge so keep that in mind same with pistols disassemble them put all the parts in the in the forge instead of uh, just scrapping it from your belt uh, you will get you'll get more more for your buck so I'm gonna waste not want not if you can avoid it you're gonna want to it's not like uh, getting all this stuff is going to be easy. So, um, at least not in the beginning of the game. Uh, as this time goes on, when you start mining, um, things get a lot easier. Uh, so, there's another home over here. It looks uh, kind of similar to what I've already uh, already gone. The one I'm already taken over. Uh, I am going to mark it on my map when I get here. I, um, I will mark it, but it's just going to be uh, just a house. It's not a house that I'm going to be taking over or anything. Um, well, that's not a bad find. A little bit of food. I'll take that any day. So let's... Uh, oh, yeah. We, we better take... Um, Oh, I didn't reload. You got it. That's right. I forgot to uh, reload the, my arrows. When you make a new bow, you have to uh, to reload every time. Let's give this guy something to think about. That's an arrow. Want to play some more catch? You catch really good with your eyeball. There we go. Sneak attack, and I don't need to do any more. So there we go. All right, let's take a quick gander through the house here. Uh, I'm not stripping all the uh, the supplies out of this one. There's no need. All I'm doing is searching the few cabinets that are here. And yeah, there's. This is an easy one to search, that's for sure, because there is not a lot in here. Um, and knowing where everything is too really helps. Uh, come on, give me a gun. Nope, no gun. No poop either. Uh, and I found out actually watching uh, uh, Rongo the Go the Bold. Uh, he was uh, talking in his video that he wants more poop, and he explained that the poop. Uh, I can't remember what the recipe is exactly, but uh, poop is actually used for fertilizer to uh, help your crops out later in the game, and I did not know that. And uh, so thanks to him for, for giving that excellent information. 
Uh, it's nice to, to get, I love uh, getting information like that when you don't know about something in the game. So now I know that poop actually has more of a use than just throwing it at zombies. Um, I was quite, it was a nice find. So uh, now I'm going to have a hard time whether or not to throw away poop and that's kind of funny. Uh, later in the game I guess I'm going to want to store lots of poop. Because when you get a farm going, oh damn it I had to run over a cactus didn't I? As my girlfriend says, I'm full of shit. Pardon me, my fiance. Uh, damn it. Okay, so we're on a road here. Um, I'm not going to search a lot of these cars. Um, especially when I see that I only get one feather. Like, come on, seriously. Um, there's a path that leads this way. Um, and there's looking at the map. I'm wondering... Yeah, you know what? A lot of these times, these... Whoops. These paths will, will lead you to a new biome, uh, but then again, so will the road. So I, uh, it's a split decision here, and I'm going to keep on the main road. I do want to uh, potentially find more stuff along the way, like this backpack, for example. Uh, it may not have everything I need in it, but uh, it, you know, it had a few things that I can use, so... And that hunting stock, I really don't need, as I've got, uh, I found that whole hunting rifle. But the whole hunting rifle can stay right in my backpack for now, I really don't need it. So, uh, oh well, it is what it is. So, let's see where this road takes us. As soon as we get to the top of the hill, I'm, I'm hoping that the, I crest it and I start seeing the tops of trees. But I'm, all I'm seeing is uh, more cactus. So, uh, okay, we got Wobbly the, the junkie come running up here. Um, oh, oh, that's a good find. That's a nice looking stone axe. Let's just get that in there for now and let's get moving. Because Wobbly over there, I don't feel like fighting him right now. I'd rather uh, just keep on rocking here and... Uh, now I'm a little bit further away from him. I can put that stone axe on my bar. I'm not going to throw away the one I made yet. Um, just because. Uh, I know I can... And Oh, that's right. Uh, I can repair that uh, stone axe. But it's going to degrade as I repair it. So, like, it's going to go from 208. It's going to drop down probably 170, 180. So, it's still going to be better than what I can make. But, uh, let's have a drink, and that gives us a bit more of a stamina boost. And now we're going to quickly search this car here. Oh, come on, give me something good. Nothing. Okay, um, nobody's around me right this second, so, um, the road is going to zig down again. I don't know if I want to keep following the road. Um, other than the fact that it gives me vehicles to search, so I'm going to follow it just a little bit to uh, the southeast here. It appears to go that way. Um, nothing. Okay, so let's see where this road continues on to. Um, yeah, it's still heading southeast, so wow. That's quite the drop. Um, again, uh, in taking these... Crouching is probably the safest way to go down them. It does slow you down a little bit. So, okay, so we've got another path leading off to the to the uh, to the southwest. Uh, I'm still going to continue on the road. I'm I'm really hoping that uh, I find a new biome soon because uh, between burnt biome and desert biome. Uh, I will happily take the desert biome over the burnt biome, but as far as gathering uh, the good resources like wood and uh, all wood, just wood in general, uh, is not uh, is not that beneficial. Uh, there's you're it's slow going, 
So, and yes, I could go to the burnt biome and grab trees from there and have lots of big trees to take down. Uh, but then I'm dealing with a whole other set of zombies and overheating. And it's just it's so not, it's so counterproductive. It's just, for me, it's not worth it until I'm better geared. And even then, I tend not to spend a lot of time in the burnt biome if I can avoid it. I'll, if I need to go there for some trees, uh, I'll take my few trees and then I, I don't stay in it. So um, we're going to stop at the fork in the road here and take a look at the map. So that's going to take me east. And I've traveled quite a distance this morning already in the game. And it's only 7 a.m. So that's, that's pretty nice. Um, I'm liking the longer time here because, like I said, I was always feeling too rushed to get somewhere. So, like right now, I would have already had to have turned back. And I wouldn't have found, you know, other than the few little bit of supplies that I found, um, I wouldn't have found anything of real consequence. No points of interest. Uh, very little supplies. So, um... Well, I'm getting kind of full again already. That's the only problem I'm going to have with the longer time is the fact that I'm going to fill up a lot faster. And But that is uh, the way the, that scavenging works. You're going to find that uh, in a real zombie apocalypse, you're probably not picking up every piece of crap that you find along the way. So I'm going to have to pare down here uh, real quick. Um... Oh, uh, the books, do not scrap them. Grab a recipe. Take the recipe. Craft it into paper. You get three times the amount of paper. That is my timer. So I stop it. And, uh... Alright. I have, uh... I've gathered a, quite a bit of stuff here. Like I said, I am going to pare down a lot of this stuff. I don't need that. I have a full rifle. And I can't repair it anyway. Um, and feathers, I've got enough of more than enough of those now. Um, it's a shame, but I'm going to scrap the pistol barrel, and I'm going to eat my soup because that will hydrate and fill me up a little bit, doesn't it? No, I guess not. Not anymore. It used to. And the springs, I'll scrap those because I'm going to be able to pull a lot of those out of vehicles later, and. For now, that's probably good. Um, so let's just keep on down the road here for a little bit longer. And then I'm going to uh, have to uh, start up a new video. Um, I'll probably just loot these two cars here. And uh, we'll call the video. And I'll see you the next episode. Um, let's just see here. Come on. Give me something good. Give me something good. Give me something good. Uh, some gas. Gas isn't a bad thing. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. Nothing. Okay. Um, and gas is a, a much easier thing to find now. So, am I worried about gas? Not so much. And color of car really doesn't matter. Uh, a lot of people are saying that certain cars give you better things. Uh, I, I personally haven't noticed it. Uh, some people are saying that, oh, the blue car gives you this, and the, if you go to the back of cars, it gives you this, more gas, and I personally haven't noticed it. I've All I've noticed is when my scavenging gets better, um, the quality of loot and the quantity of loot gets better. I want the chicken. There we go. I got the chicken, so let's get the bone shiv going. I don't really need the gun. Of course, I'm going to be... Oh, shit! I didn't notice that she was that close. <laughs> Bitch! Get off me! Alright, well, she had a bunch of stuff on her. That wasn't bad. Okay, I should probably look around this time. Make sure that... Yeah, no one's coming at me. Okay. Let's finish looting this. Oh, what is... Oh, man. I gotta, uh... Scrap that. And, you know what, I can throw the stone axe away. I'll take the raw meat. I do want the raw meat. And I want all the feathers. Because feathers, as soon as I get a crossbow schematic, 
I have to start making brand new weaponry all over again. Come on. So here's here's the glue. We want that. Cloth I don't need. So I'll take the glue and get rid of the animal fat and scrap the brass. Okay. So on that note, folks, I'm going to say... Uh, uh, this is Jaxel saying, have a good one, happy hunting, and I will see you next episode. And also, like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment. I need to hear something back from people. I'm getting lonely here, damn it.